are. Just uh, describe for us what is happening at the moment. <laughs> Well, the visuals that you are seeing here, that's the arrival of Prince Misuzolo. We are bringing you these exclusive visuals here. I'm going to ask my colleague Nkanyiso Mjalose to come to me now and come this side as long as we want to show you these arrivals. This is the arrival of Prince Misuzolo, the king's first concern to Queen Manchombi, Umar Lamini. As you see, he is being welcomed by Ibu Toliga Zulu. This is one of the front runners for the Zulu throne and the Zulu kingdom. Uh, this is Prince Mesu Zulu. His name has been on the news for a very long time. There has been speculation about him. He's been welcomed by Ibu to here as he will go down to join the memorial stages that is taking place there. I think it's for the first time that he has been one He has been touted as one of those strong candidates. He's been welcomed by senior princes in including Prince Vanana Zulu. As you can see, he's being flanked by his brothers. I can tell you that on his, uh, on his left, I can see Prince uh, Bambindo and on his left, I can see Prince Simengaye. So the visuals that you see here are the visuals of Prince Misu Zulu. He is arriving at Wakangela Mankengane Royal Palace. He did not attend the internment of his mother, that is Queen Mantombi, simply because as a possible future king of the Zulus, culture and tradition and protocol does not allow him to be where there is a, a funeral service taking place. You will have to bear with us for the shaky visuals. We are working backwards time to give you these visuals live and direct as Prince Misu Zulu, who is the first concern uh, to Queen Mantombi arrives at Wakangela Mankengane Royal Palace. In front, a person who is commanding Gibucho is Prince Vanana Zulu of Guaminyamanzi. Guaminyamanzi is one of the houses of the Zulu royal family. So as you see here, Prince Misu Zulu being flanked, he is wearing a black t-shirt underneath and he is carrying a stick there chanting Amahubo with the Zulu princess. Let's listen to this significant song which says Wink or see your shanga. The king, let's just give you natural visions. tell you the significance of ha ha we go see what shanga this song is only sung in the presence of the king when amabuto with the king as their commander in chief and also the significance of this is that you have one of the senior princes here prince banana from guamenya royal house in guiagamenya is one of the senior houses when it comes to the zulu royal family the fact that he is flanked by Amabuto, being taken by Amabuto to the Marquis where the memorial service is underway signifies the fact that this is someone in the future who could be regarded as the commander of Amabuto. I want to show you the Ihau that he is carrying, the colors of Ihau, and that signifies also important as Prince Vanana Zulu pushes us back here as he is commanding Amabuto. Let's give you more natural sound here. To ask that we'll have at some point 
poor backs. I want to show you what is happening in front as you is in Tombi waiting to join Amabuto in front. Check Kwakangela Mankenga and the Royal Palace. I want you to check the girl or the maidens there waiting to welcome join Amabuto. Culturally, every time there is Amabuto, they are joined by is in Tombi. And this tells you that the combination will now move from here to go to the marquee as we are making the turn. Now, let's make this turn. Sorry about that. There's shaky visuals. It's simply because we are trying to keep up with Amabu to here and the delegation and everyone. So, if we can just show you that what will happen now, we will move from here and go to the Marquis. But in the meantime, just listen to the significance of the song, Winko Social. forgive us for the shaky visuals we are walking backwards but whatever we are doing it's in the best interest of bringing you this coverage live and direct so please bear with us for our shaky shots Uh, Supermanla, yes, so we, uh, we, we, per we understand perfectly that uh, you are trying to keep us on this. You're walking backwards as well, so well done to you. So what do we read into this, uh, Supermanla? Prince Misuzulu walking in there with the Amabuto. Do we take this as a sign, as a confirmation that he is the next king of the Amazulu nation? One of the potential contenders, serious contenders to the throne. With the Zulu succession, you have to wait up until an official announcement is made. For now, that announcement has not been made, but his name has come up strongly. He is regarded as one of the contenders. Don't be surprised in future if you hear of other candidates or another candidate. But for now, this is strategic in that it shows that he has a command and the support of Amabuto, but also for the first time he is seen with Amabuto after the demise of his father and his mother. He is the queen's firstborn son out of seven children by the late Queen Mantombi. He is of royal blood. His mother is from Eswatini Kingdom. His father was the king. He stands a better chance, but with the Zulu succession, I've learned to wait up until the official announcement is made. But look at how he is dressed and how he's positioned and how he's being flanked by Amabuto and the song that has been sung ever since he alerted out of that vehicle Winko Si Oshanga Amabuto sing that song in the presence of the king when they say Wasbiza Savuma, you called us we honored the call, you are the king, listening Zulu is the one who's commanding the Amabuto here. He was basically consulting as he is going inside the marquee to greet them with what is happening, who is about to enter the marquee. I can tell you that the arrival of Prince Mr. Zulu has in a way attracted attention and the funeral of the service underway has resulted in some people coming out to check what is happening here. I see senior princes as well are coming out here to consult and to see what is happening here. They are asking other members of the family to come and uh, uh, we appeal our I see. 
Are you fine? Afterwards, afterwards. Afterwards. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. We would like to have a word with you afterwards. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Well, basically, there we have it. You know, we, we, we've been asking to have you with him afterwards. He has agreed to talk to us afterwards. That is Prince Mesuzulu. Only you, Superman Lagoge, only you can uh, have a moment with a uh, potentially future king in the middle of all of this. And he does certainly know how to make an entrance, uh, Prince uh, Mrs. Zulu there. And uh, just maybe just uh, give us some background here just to the man himself. So we understand, if I remember correctly, that he couldn't take the throne immediately after his father's uh, passing because he is not married. So what do we think has happened since then? Or, or how, what does that do for his chances of taking over the throne, the fact that he's not married? Those are the logistics that are being ironed out and thrashed out by those who are responsible to ensure that he ascends to the throne. He needs to get married before being coronated, and that will have to wait. And I'm told that those processes are underway, by the way. Listen to this chanting. Well, basically, the chanting and singing continues here. We are literally a minute from the main marquee where that memorial service is taking place. Logistics are being thrashed out inside as the provincial authorities are being briefed of what is happening outside, what is causing the commotion and the delay as most people have left the marquee to come outside to check what is happening as we see the American-educated Prince Misu Zulu showing a sign and a show of force by being flanked by Amabuto. Of course, speculation has been rife that he's the next Zulu king. Is that the case? Will his name be announced today? We will have to wait and see as one of the factions in the Zulu royal family is adamant that there should be no leadership vacuum. And in that process, they have called on Prince Mangosu Tugutelezi, who is the traditional prime minister of the Zulu nation, to announce Prince Misu Zulu as the next ruler of Amazulu. But within the Zulu royal family, there is another faction which says, hang on for now. Let us have a meeting next week, discuss succession issues now that the remains of the departed queen have been interred. We will only know after the funeral service what will happen, but ENCA understands that there is a planned meeting early next week by the Zulu royal family to discuss and decide on issues of succession as singing and chanting continues for now. Security personnel... As we see security here trying to push us back to ensure that uh, there is stability here and there is no chaos. I can tell you that the arrival of Prince Nisu Zulu has attracted so much attention. There is only one reason. He is central when it comes to the succession debate within the Zulu nation. Listen to the chanting and Amahobo here. Here. Now, the departed queen from Wakangela Mountain and the royal palace had about seven children, and Prince Misuzulu is the firstborn. He is about 47 or 48 years. I will tell you that on his right, he is flanked by one of his younger brothers, which is Prince and on the left, he is flanked by Mbindovu. Those are 
as brothers, others are on site. Female, or should I say, is are already inside, as you see, Prince Jesus by his brothers and sit of the Zoom led by Princess Banana. Kwami Nyamanzi House. Zulu Royal House is very big. There are more than 200 royals and there are more than two. Each and every house is very central and very strategic. And Induya Kwami Nyamanzi is regarded as one of the senior houses with a very powerful voice on matters of the royal house. The fact that Prince Misu Zulu is planned by Amabuto, Amabuto only accompany someone who is serving on the throne, not as they are ordered by powers that be at the palace to accompany anyone. But they don't accompany a commoner. They accompany a king, a queen, or someone of royal importance. As we see now, that there has to be a movement we've been told to allow Prince Misu Zulu together with our to go inside the Maki here. I think they are still awaiting the arrival of Prince Vanana to come back. Prince is the one who is leading this delegation and then commanding uh, this regiment here. Please pray with us once again and we are seeing some movement here as uh, they in terms of uh, going inside the marquee. But the story has moved now from the memorial service to the issue of succession. Prince Mangosu Tubutel is the adamant there will not be any vacuum in the Zulu royal family. And some people saying, why rush? We are still mourning. It's interred the departed queen. We'll discuss that later. But queen has been interred. The question is what now? And the answer is that succession debate cannot be avoided. Well, we were expecting some kind of announcement, we were told earlier this week, weren't we, that there would be some kind of announcement at the ceremony today. So we wonder if this is part of it, or judging by what you said, that there were some in the royal household who said we'll hold a meeting about this next week, that uh, Prince Nisu Zulu has taken things into his own hands, or just, just trying to make a point today. I mean, would this, be, would this be ordinarily what would happen during a memorial service, or has he kind of hijacked it, one has to wonder. <laughs> not say he has hijacked it. Remember, it's his mother that has been interred, and he hasn't had an opportunity to attend that funeral service, simply because according to culture, tradition, and practice, those who are seen to be potential kings do not attend funerals. Or even if they do, once the word is out that he has a potential to become the king, if he is announced as the next king of Amazulu, he will never attend any funeral service from now on, including of his children, of his wife or wives, of his siblings. So he has not hijacked this. It's been discussed by Zulu royal family members, particularly from Wakangela Mankengane, where he comes from. But oh, sorry, 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 no, Vanana. Sir <laughs> Collins, uh, Prince uh, Vanana here asking us to make space. But let me tell you that uh, this is strategic. I wouldn't yeah. call it a hijack, but it's a strategic yeah. and a grand entrance. You see Prince Vanana there from Guamina Manzi, he's the one who's commanding this. As you see Prince Misuzulu making his way inside the Makin there, chanting with Amabuto and listen to the natural sound and the rhythm. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, I can see outside here Prince Tulani Zulu from Mezbindini, one of the senior royals, is here together with Prince Banana and the police. Here, the police officer in charge of deployment of police officer. Yeah, now we are inside the material. Let me tell you that this has basically, in a way, disturbed the memorial service because as Prince Mr. is about to enter, Mona's here basically are keeping a keen interest. Let's listen in. See now, Prince Mangosu Tubuteles is coming out here to Amabuto. Yes. What you have to say. And we thank you all that you have <laughs> come and allowed us to bring these things to you. Basically, Prince Mangosu Tubuteles is addressing Prince Vana now for Wamina Manzi to say there is a Amabucho must keep quiet for now as the prayer session is underway. They must wait up until the prayer session is over. Then they will continue with their singing and chanting. What will happen from now on is that princes will be allowed to enter and sit. And after that, Amabucho will go back and wait outside. Once this memorial service is over, we understand that Prince Mr. Zolo will not be staying at Wakandela Mankengane. He will go back to where he is being kept, quote, unquote as we see him make his way now to inside the market going to take his seat and once he takes his seat and that's that the memorial service will continue. If we can come this side, I know these visuals are going to be shaky. Plus, but please come with us. Let me be quiet for now. The prayer session is underway. To the royal family, to the Zulu nation, and to our country, both Swaziland and South Africa, that we would not need to wonder what is the way because Jesus said, I am the way. Today we also celebrate the words of Jesus Christ who said, I am the truth. Lord, today we think that truth is relevant, relative, and not necessary, but we thank you for Jesus Christ who is the truth. Lord, today we celebrate the life you gave to a global party. You are the life giver, and we celebrate that. May you grant a quality of life to those who are broken hearted and mourning. May you grant eternal life to all those who are reflecting on her life. And may 